Welcome guys uh, to this CryptoCoin Investor. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the Dogecoin, particularly Doge USDT pairs, USDT pair and Doge BTC pair, um, both from the Binance Cryptocurrency Exchange, since it has um, most volume. So, what you're looking right now, in front of you, this is the daily chart of Dogecoin. And uh, earlier today, you had a nice spike. Uh, to 27 cents where we got rejected interestingly when i enable this indicator called ichimoku this is exactly where uh, this uh, resistance is so clearly uh, this uh, outline of the cloud is acting as resistance the best part is we are inside this cloud now and very soon we will be out of this cloud and there will be very less resistance to deal from to deal with at least in the midterm so where is dogecoin heading and what are the potential targets so obviously the first potential target would be the outline of this which is somewhere around 27 cents or so after that it's very easy to find the resistance so what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, making use of Fibonacci tool and very easily we'll be making use of resistance Wait, what I'll do is I'll switch to 3D chart so we have a better view of where the resistance areas are. And we'll be using the previous stop and the bottom, the recent bottom, which was somewhere around 19 cents or so. This will give us various resistance level. And as you can see, the first resistance level is at the outline of the 3D cloud, which is at 25 cents. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, the moving average of this Ichimoku cloud, which is at 27 cents, this is also acting as this. But on the 3D cloud as well, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to enter this cloud with no issues at all. The Fibonacci is telling us that the main resistance level is at 32 cents. So this is the level to look out for. This is also where we previously got rejected back in August. After that, 40 cents, 46 cents, the 46 cents area has been tapped quite a lot of times. One, two, three, four. So uh, it would make sense uh, to sell uh, some of your doge here, like 50%, and buy back at around, buy back before 40 cents area. So you could sell here, buy here. And I'm pretty sure we'll be touching 50 cents after that. Followed by 62 cents and then 74 cents, which was the previous all time high uh, of Doge. Once we are able to do that, Doge will touch $1. So $1 is $1.08, it says, but uh, a lot of people are expecting Doge to touch $1. And this means that the whales would be, whales would want, if I'm a whale and if I have a ton, ton of Doge, I would want to make use of that liquidity and um, I would probably sell before one cent. So uh, once it crosses 74 cents here, this level, once Doge crosses the level, start, start uh, selling your Doge. I would, I would say sell some at 84, uh, sell most of it at 90 cents. So this is this is the area where I think uh, I would off low offload all of my Doge almost off almost all of my Doge if I'm available. So that'll make use of that liquidity, and I would hold like ten percent or twenty percent of my bag, which I will sell at around one dollar, which is the psychological level, and then at one point zero seven cents. This is the major resistance area. I think we will probably see just a week, and we will come down, come crashing down to seventy five cents or so. That's my uh, that's that's what I think is going to happen to Doge. That said, if the volume is crazy and let's say Bitcoin goes to twenty thousand dollars or so, two hundred thousand dollars or so, uh, the next resistance according to the Fibonacci is at one point six dollars. Uh, for that, we'll need a lot of volume, a lot of a uh, lot of uh, uh, I would say uh, people who are willing to sacrifice their capital for the current holders uh, but I think uh, a lot of Doge coin owners would be happy to see Doge again above 75 cents so uh, don't be greedy um, keep in mind this is still a meme coin uh, not to be taken that seriously not a lot of development is happening 
uh, the Doge, uh, the Doge community. You can see their GitHub. Uh, so don't be, don't get too serious with this project. Uh, take it as an asset where you take it as an asset which you'll be selling at for profit in the coming months or so. <coughs> now, I'll be taking a look at the Doge BDC pair as well. So this is the Doge BDC pair, a uh, fetch from the Polonix cryptocurrency exchange, which has the longest history of Doge. And when we enable the Ichimoku cloud, you can clearly see that we have a sub resistance at somewhere around uh, 458 cents. Yes, that's and then some major resistance at around 500 and around 560 sats. After that, if we continue to pump up, and uh, we somewhere around here, we will face some resistance at 670 sats. If we are able to uh, close above uh, this level, which is 683, uh, then there almost uh, no resistance at all. And if we plot Fibonacci, we can have an idea of where the major resistance areas are. So again, it clearly shows that we have yeah, there's some at 694, followed by 800 sats, then 900, then 1027, followed by 1214 sats. Keep in mind, this whole move caught everyone by surprise. This damn move. Uh, this entire move caught everyone by surprise. This was all fueled by Elon Musk. Nowadays, Elon Musk is not tweeting that much about Doge, probably due to the probably due to pressure from SEC. He might have got a few calls from them to not pump shit coins like this. So, uh, if there's lackluster response from Elon Musk, uh, I would say a lot of diminished returns would come into play, and we may not see crazy pumps as we used to see uh, back in. Uh, month of May or, you know, in the period from January to May, where Elon Musk was uh, pumping Doge at least twice a week. So I would say uh, keep your targets reasonable. Uh, that said, there's a strong probability that we may still see our uh, 700 sats or probably 800 sats um, in the coming months or so. Uh, and I'll be happy to see Doge at $1. I hope I hold some Doge, not a lot of Doge. But I do hold some, and I'm keeping my uh, profits realistic. I had a great entry, and all I need to do now is wait for the BTC pump, and then the capital will move from uh, BTC to large caps, and then to mid caps like Doge, Dash, Solid, etc. Uh, have a plan. Uh, capital will move from Bitcoin to uh, altcoin, and then to USD. So make sure you're not left behind, cause 90% uh, of the people will lose money. And only 10% will gain, and I want you to be in that 10%. So have a plan, then execute it. Uh, that's my uh, uh, mantra for this bull run. That's all about it. Hope you like this video. Give this video a like to show your appreciation. That's all I need from you guys. And say subscribe for uh, cryptocurrency analysis like this. Bye bye.